Hello guys, welcome to part 4. I got confused last time. I skipped a part by accident. <laughs> but this is part 4. Uh, just after the council yelled at us for being stupid, silly bums. So, we're off to find Harkin. I don't know why he said no. That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I'm going. I know what so long. he's really doing, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Let's go to Corey's Den, then. As I said, I'm not doing all the... All the mini missions and stuff like that. I'm just doing the main storyline because that will take way too long, and I just want to do the main story. <laughs> um, but yeah, how are you guys enjoying Mass Effect so far? As I said, the start is very slow, especially this part, this is the but it does get very interesting. So that's her. That's her. She's an assassin. You don't just say that's her. Turian assassins. Those were Saren's men. Perimeter clear. I don't know how we found that out, but apparently it's true. So this is the course den. It's um an interesting place. You can you can have a wee sit down. And you can just have a wee watch. Have a have a Okay, I'm gonna have to flag this. <laughs> so <laughs> have a wee watch of uh, an Asari or a human, if you're. I got business here, but not with you. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Okay, there's Harkin. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. So those are the Krogans. I mean, here's Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. And we'll see where this goes. Maybe later. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more Marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of CSEC. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. Garrus? <laughs> You must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. 
People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Oh, I hate Harkin. But I'm sure that's not the last you see of him. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. <laughs> You're probably right. Still. Oh. Why'd she cut out? Oh well. <laughs> oh, da, da, da. Itchy, itchy. <whistles> Sorry if you guys like don't like the loading screens. If I cut it, it'll just it'll be annoying. I have to match up all the audio, so I'm just gonna leave them in. Sorry about that. But before I go in there, there's a light, nice little speechy speech thing. Cut it. There's um funny, not funny, but it's kind of D before you go to the med clinic, I think you have to do it. And it's just here. opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Ma'am. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, aye, aye, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. No, oh, I think he's cute. This is one of the side missions. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. It's really quite easy, so I'm gonna do that. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Bye. This one's quite easy, so... Just think I'll do that. Alright, let's go to the... Med clinic. I like the Citadel. I would live there. Oh. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll. Who are you? Let her go. Well, that'd be kind of weird to smell trouble. Oh wow, my name sucks. Let's go come with my epic armor and just beat everyone up. <laughs> there we go. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. 
Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. He doesn't actually leave. And I don't like to take him with me for this mission because then he just does something. I don't want him to do that. And I love Garrus, but these two are my favorites. I don't like to not have Asa and Caden with me. Because I love them. I won't take them the whole way through. If you guys tell me down in the comments who you want in my squad, I'll do what you say. But if you don't tell me, I'm just going to stick with my crew. You know what I mean? Like, if you want, if you want, for example, Garrus to be in my squad, you have to tell me. And if you don't tell me, I, I won't know. So I just will pick Caden and Ashley. But if you're happy with me taking Caden and Ashley the whole time, just comment saying that. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I need to go to Chorus Den. I do, don't worry, I do get Rex in my squad. He doesn't actually leave. It's just I like to have him... I get money if I don't take him with me. So <laughs> I'm going to get money instead. Which is better than a talk of how he is a bounty hunter. There you are, back of course, Den. Actually, what I'm going to do, because something major is the cool things about to happen, I'm going to end this part here. Um, so, I'll see you in the next part. This should be part four, if I've counted this right. I'm really crap at this, but this should be part four. So, I will see you guys in part five then. Bye-bye.